Hey, Steve Zick here. Welcome back to Folks Who Channel, the Charlie Air System. Today, I want to talk about being honest with yourself about your guitar playing and your progress, okay? Because, you know, one of the hardest things to do is to be honest with yourself. And now I'm 61 and I started working on music at a you know pretty early age. And when I started doing recording and stuff, it became really obvious to me what my weak points were and what my strong points were and what I needed to do. So my point just here is that, you know, nothing feels better than making progress on the guitar. Like I've said before, guitar is the easiest instrument in the world just to mess around on, but one of the most tricky things to actually focus because it's so fun to play, right? So it's easy just to kind of have fun and whoop de doo you know? But that's not what I'm about. What, I, what I'm about is helping people to grow and evolve and get more joy out of the guitar and to, prog to progress at a much, much quicker weight rate than you would on your own, okay? That's what the guitar ladder system is about. It's 200 lessons delivered right to your desktop. You actually get two free years right now, so a six-year membership for 199 is a great, great situation. It's a passion to me, you know? It's, it's, it's more work than it's probably worth, but I, I like seeing people, I like getting the letters coming in from people who are making a lot of progress. But what I just want you to do is I want you to ask yourself, look at how your guitar playing was two years ago or a year ago and then look at how it is now and the hardest thing is to listen to yourself and to kind of evaluate yourself and say you know what um, I have made a lot of progress or you know what I really haven't made that much progress and maybe I'm even a little boring in what I play nothing and I'm not trying to be harsh here because you know if you if you just play you know Bob Dylan songs I love Bob Dylan and you're happy with that great but if your goal is to really be as good as you can be um, this lifetime and actually discover what music might be floating around your subconscious mind, which is where all the interesting stuff is. If you want to wake up the composer within, if you want to take your guitar playing and composing, if you want to learn to understand the art and science of music on a deep level and see how good you can really good, get, and this, is, this is not bullshit, then I would say order the guitar ladder system and don't even overthink it because you're going to learn the 10 systems of improvisation. But that's really all I wanted to say today was, you know, if you're happy with your guitar playing, then you don't need the guitar ladder system. You know, if you're a virtuoso and you can also compose your own original music and uh, and it's on a high level, maybe you don't need this, okay? Although I've had some pretty advanced players who bought this system just because they wanted to become better composers. But what I'm trying to just say here is that it feels really great to make progress on the guitar, okay? But you do have to be honest with yourself and say, well, gosh, you know, I have been kind of playing the same for a long time. Maybe I need to work on, you know, understanding the relationship to chords. But all my information, I don't get bogged down in a bunch of boring theory and things like that. You're going to automatically learn the 10 systems of improvisation in my course just by playing these, uh, these studies and cycles, okay? You're just going to learn them automatically. That, that's what's so cool. Uh, about my system okay so I mean the bottom line is if you love guitar what I'm trying to say here and I'm trying you know I'm trying not to be too blunt or too rude but seriously you know it's you know if you're boring yourself on the guitar order the guitar ladder system let's take let's take a quantum leap I know I feel like a football coach here so but let's take a quantum leap you know I mean you know don't be mediocre is what I'm trying to say it's it's really hard for me to hold back here because I don't want you know it, I just I'm a motivator I, li I like to motivate people including myself like if I, I was in the studio a while back with Mr. Darren Vegas, who's a top hip hop producer, he also does produces and writes all kinds of music. And he's done things for movies and TVs and, and, and TV. And he's worked with all the top, a lot of many, many top artists. And we ended up putting together three really, really great songs. But um, I'm not gonna answer my phone. We put together three really good songs. But there was a point in the studio where we were doing some stuff and it just didn't sound that good. And we both looked at each other like, you know what, this just sucks. Let's just scratch it and start completely over. So if you really want to take your guitar playing um, and your composing as far as humanly possible, and you're willing to admit that you need to have some growth, you're willing to admit that, you, that maybe the last year or two you haven't evolved that much, that honesty, if you can be honest with yourself and realize, yeah, I need a little help. 
that's where the real growth is going to come in. And that's what I do all the time. And, and you'll hear players say all the time, the more advanced you get, the harder it is to take that new leap forward. So if you're an intermediate level player, um, you know, or intermediate, beginning to kind of look at advanced, it's, this is perfect for you. And even if you're an advanced player, this is perfect for you. But I'm just saying I'm part of the club. I'm devoted myself to always getting better and learning more and studying guitar and improving and becoming a better composer. That's what my life's mission is too. And I'll tell you, nothing feels as good as to be honest with yourself and realize, okay, I need to get on track here and then see that growth. Like when I was in the studio with Darren Vegas. Once we both said, you know, this doesn't sound that good, it kind of sucks, and we started that whole tune completely over again and made a few adjustments, and uh, boy, it came out great. So what I'm trying to say is nothing feels better than being honest with yourself, realizing, gosh, maybe I haven't made much progress the last year or two. Maybe I would like to learn how to play, you know, killer solo acoustic and alter tunings. Maybe I would like to learn how to get around my guitar up and down the neck with beautiful chords and, and learn how to do my own chord melody and learn how to do interesting solos, both, you know, overdrive tone as well as clean tone. I'd like to learn how to compose. I'd like to understand the 10 systems of improvisation. You would like to be something other than a mediocre guitar player or mediocre a little bit better. Now, I'm not trying to be harsh here. Like I said, I, I point the finger at myself. There's been many times in my life when I've been very disappointed with myself as a player. That's why I worked my ass off. That's why I used to practice 12 hours a day. Now, you don't have to practice 12 hours a day. If I would have had the guitar ladder system back when I was learning guitar, oh my God, I would have made my progress so much quicker. I've got over 40 years of hard work into this, folks, and it, you know, it really, really does work. So I apologize if I sound a little bit harsh. That's not my intention. My intention is to help you be happier. My intention is to motivate you to take your guitar playing and your understanding of the art and science of music more seriously and give my course a shot. Right now, if you order, you're going to get two free years, so a six-year membership. You're going to get some bonus material, the Horace Hatchet files, and the 200 lessons delivered right to your desktop. This works, folks. So if you want, you know, if that makes sense, you can order it at stevezookguitars.com right on the homepage. Take care. i got to see who just called me. Take care.